Hi! Welcome back to our fifth part of our tutorial series. Now that we have set up materials for our bottle, it's time to render it. I will also render additional render elements, to help us later, in the compositing stage. So, let's open render setup. And let's crank these values up a bit, to get a higher quality rendering. I will do 4 for the minimum subdivisions, and 8 for maximum. For the GI, I'm going to go with brute force. And, for the light cache, I will set the subdivisions to 3000. If you do animation, you should choose animation here, and 3000 subdivs as well. Okay, that's pretty much it for rendering settings. I'll go for bucket, and not progressive, because I think it's a bit faster. Now, let's add the render elements. First of all, I will add a V-Ray Denoiser Pass. This will help us get rid of the noise, once the image is rendered. I will also add a V-Ray Wire Color. This will render a flat color pass, which will get the color from each object's color. So, the bottle will be this blue, the label will be this yellow, and the cap will be this pinkish color. This V-Ray Wire Color Pass will help us get selections for each part of the bottle, later, in the compositing stage. I will also like to get a reflection pass separately, so I'll go for V-Ray Reflection. Let's also do a V-Ray Diffuse Filter, which will help us enhance the colors in the label if necessary. I would also like to add a V-Ray Ambient Occlusion Pass. Unfortunately, we don't have a V-Ray Ambient Occlusion Pass here, but we will use in V-Ray Extra Text to get that. To do this, in this slot I will use as a texture V-Ray Dirt Map. Let's press M to bring up the Material Editor, and go down here to find an unused slot. Let's drag this map here, as an instance. We need to know how big this value should be, so, for that, I'll need to know how big our bottle actually is. So, if I select the bottle and go to the Utilities tab here, we will choose Measure. We see here that the bottle is 6.6cm .6 on the X, so from here to here, and 6.6cm .6 on the Y. Basically, we will need our ambient occlusion pass to be very small. 10cm is way too big at the moment, so we'll just say, maybe 0.8cm. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Let me see if I added everything we need. Let's double check. We have a denoiser pass, a wire color, a reflection pass, a diffuse filter, and, an extra text. Okay. Before we render the final image, let's enable the save frame here. And, disable V-Ray viewport IPR. Also, let's get the camera a bit closer. Something like this. Okay, so now we're ready to render the final image. It would take a few minutes, so I will speed up the video here, and get back to you once it is done. Alright. Now that the rendering is done, let's check out the results. It looks fine if you ask me, but let's take a closer look. I don't know if the screen recording captures this, but there is quite some noise visible here. But, once I activate the denoiser pass here, the noise just disappears. That's what the denoiser pass took care of. Let me show you the other passes we've rendered. The alpha channel is just white, because we didn't set our background as transparent. The wire color pass is what I've showed you earlier. Each object has a different color and this will make it easier to make selections in Photoshop. This is the reflection pass. The diffuse filter pass is basically just the diffuse colors or maps of the materials used. This is the ambient occlusion pass, which will help us define the volumes a little bit better by adding some shadowing in the corners. Okay. Let's just save all these passes. To do so, I will hold this save button pressed. Then, choose Save Image Channels to separate files. Go to our Bottle Tutorial folder, and let's create a new folder. Call it, Render. Let's save our bottle, dot, PNG. I will choose 24-bit, which is more than enough. We also don't need an alpha channel. And just press OK. We'll have to wait for a bit, and now, if we go into our folder, you will see that we have all our passes saved in separate PNG files. Let's save our bottle as Bottle 05. In the next and final tutorial of this series, I will show you how to mix all these passes in Photoshop 
to get our final image done. Until then, if you like what I try to do here, please like my video, post in the comments if there's something I've missed, or if you'd like me to tackle other subjects in 3D. Please share my video, subscribe if you want to, and see you in the next one. Bye.